If you have a Steam Deck, this is the easiest way to emulate games without doing a whole bunch of tinkering. This solution is entirely plug and play with no tinkering required, and you can start emulating games like PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PSP, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advanced, GameCube, and a ton more consoles. Here are all the steps to start playing emulated games the easy way. Step one, buy an SD card with the emulators and games pre-installed. I'll have the one I used for this video linked below. Step two, boot into the SD card by turning the Steam Deck off, putting the SD card in, holding the volume up button, then hitting the power button. You can release the volume up button when the Steam Deck logo pops up, then hit boot options and boot from SD card. Then step three, play any of the 43,000 pre-installed games or add any games you want. And if you're like me, you're hearing that and you're probably a bit skeptical of if this is a scam or more importantly, importantly if this is going to ruin your Steam Deck. And to be honest with you, I didn't know if it was going to work. So I reached out to them and they sent me over one for me to try. So I risked my Steam Deck testing it. And so far, everything has worked just great. I've had no issues. It's been incredibly stable and it's super cheap. This could be a plus or minus depending on who you are or what you like to do. But what I actually like is that the entire operating system is just on this little micro SD card and it's entirely entirely separate from Steam OS. So you just put in the micro SD card, then you boot separately into that drive as your boot drive. And so it all feels self-contained. You're not going to mess up Steam OS or you're not going to corrupt any files on Steam OS. It's running entirely off of the SD card, which I don't know if it's true, but for some reason it just feels safer or more secure to me so that whenever you don't want to play your retro games, you can just swap out your SD card for something else. And then when you do want to play your retro games, you pop the SD card in and you're back in business. The only thing that's a little bit annoying is that it's not plug and play. You do have to turn the Steam Deck off and then boot into the SD card as a bootable drive, which makes sense considering it's its own operating system. But still, I thought that was something worth mentioning. And I also should add that the games that are pre-installed on here are not the only games you can play. You're welcome to add as many other games on there or emulators on there as you want. And Battlestar is a huge ecosystem that actually has quite a bit of support. It might not be as popular as MU Deck, but it still is very popular and has a lot of support. And once you boot in and you've got this list of consoles, it's actually kind of overwhelming just how many games you have access to. Like 43,000 games sounds like a ridiculous amount and it is, but then once you start looking through and I'm just like scrolling through like PlayStation 2 games here and then then they're not just a number it's like these are games I spent my childhood playing and I remember them vividly so it's actually really cool just to be able to go in and play games from your childhood that you didn't know you had these nostalgic connections but it turns out once it's there you totally do and as far as stability and the game's performance so far I've played quite a few games and I haven't come into any problems with the game not running and even more impressively at least to me the games have run totally smooth and the battery life has been insane my I mean, maybe that's the case for all emulators. I'm pretty new to this on the Steam Deck, but it just sips battery. And then all of a sudden you can play for six or eight hours or maybe even longer. I don't know. I've never actually sat down and played that long, but it just doesn't hit the battery life whatsoever. So if you're on a really long road trip or plane ride and you need your battery to last a long time, emulating could be the way to go. So if you're looking for the easiest way to emulate games on the Steam Deck, I think this is a good option. You're buying an SD card with Batocera pre-installed, and then yes, you can add more games if you want to, but probably the list of games is gonna be enough just on its own. So if you're like me, you probably aren't even gonna add any extra games because you already have more than enough. And like I said earlier, as soon as you don't wanna play your retro emulator games, you just pop the SD card out, switch it with whatever, and then you're back to your regular Steam Deck experience. And of course, you can always boot into Steam OS even if you have the retro emulator game card still in the Steam Deck. So if you want to emulate your games, but you don't want to spend a whole lot of time tinkering, I think this is the easiest way to do it. If you want to buy one of these SD cards with Batocera pre-installed, I'll leave a link to it in the description of the video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you have another emulator, like I kind of want to try out Emu Deck. If you want me to do a video on that, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try and get that done. We'll leave things there. See you guys.